That's po politicized. Too, so. Yeah, so he's going to, he wants to know, have you compared notes? Uh, especially, both of you have a lot of uh, uh, insight and you follow the money. And yes. so that's his question. Mm -hmm. uh, Wayne Pronti, uh, who has uh, worked on uh, STS's uh, website and uh, done a you know, tremendous amount to get the word out, war criminals out. Uh, uh, he, he wants to know uh, um, about if Cynthia has a mes message for the peace movement. In, in Canada, there was a lot of uh, <clears throat> angst uh, at when Bush came not only to, to Calgary, but came to Edmonton, Saskatoon, and Montreal. And uh, much to our surprise and dismay, they would not uh, provide, the, the various peace activist groups wouldn't provide, wouldn't invite splitting the sky onto the podium at the, you know, when everybody's talking in abstract terms about arresting Bush. So this, uh, uh, really it comes down to this 9-11 uh, matter that, that there's some people that think it's very sort of negative to even raise questions that somehow we should just put that off, that splitting the sky said, you know, here's an area. I'll just put this off to the side and I'll just divide my mind and I won't go there. So, so you might uh, have some uh, comments you know, to help people, because I figure the 9-11 truthers, we're at the heart of the peace movement. We are activists for the peace movement and, and uh, we need to um, find ways to, to make common cause and not allow divide and conquer to, to come into place. And uh, uh, so with uh, Kevin and, and, and of course, uh, Patrick B. Rowan, Montreal 9-11 Truth has really been working on this. Michael Pengue, Michael Chosodowski in Montreal. Yeah. Right on. Um, I, I would say that we have that same, um, some, uh, what, duality in the United States with respect to the peace movement and the 9 -1 -1 Truth movement, which ought to be together but are not. And... Um, so I spoke to this actually just last night in London and said that I am proud to stand with the 911 Truth Movement and I am proud to stand with the Peace Movement. But for those people in the Peace Movement who think that 911, well, first of all, we have a lot of gatekeepers in the Peace Movement. Mm. And so we need to understand yeah. that there's something called a controlled opposition mm -hmm. yeah. and they are there for a reason. We have to call them out, and in the end, we have to ignore them. Mm -hmm. So that there is no place in the peace movement where 911 truth should not be welcome. Um, if there are some people in the peace movement who think that 911 truth, well, you know, that was, uh, 911 was such a long time ago, all of the issues have been dealt with, and we really don't want to reopen um, those wounds or that book, I would say to them that President Obama reopened the entire 911 right. movement, tr the 911 issue, when in his State of the Union address, mm -hmm. he said that we have to encourage our allies to increase the number of troops that are in Afghanistan, we have to spend more money and spend more of our troops to Afghanistan because of September 11th. That's right. So when all else fails, they can't come up with any other reason, then they always fall back on the lies of 911. That's right. We know that they were lying. We know that there wasn't a shred of truth in anything that George W. Bush said as a candidate That's or right. as a president. That's right. And so... That's right. For those who don't, who are not yet convinced, all they have to do is darn it, read the the statements of the 911 Commission leaders who said that the Bush administration didn't tell them what they wanted to know, and of course they didn't want to know very much. They didn't ask very many questions. However, the Bush administration even lied to them. So the Bush administration lied, and. Um, all one has to suggest is that in the face of those lies, what is the responsibility of, of us citizens? And uh, we have a responsibility to investigate what the truth is. That's all, and that's why the 1,000 architects and engineers is so important. And I think that's why we're getting more um, attention 
from the special interest press is what I call them, the special interest press, we're getting more attention from them now, because there is a critical mass. There are more and more people. Um, Anthony and I were in Europe where people had come from all over Europe. And uh, listening to Niels Harrod, I don't know if you all have heard him, but uh, listening to Niels Harrod was uh, phenomenal. We were there in a press conference on the day that the Nobel Peace Prize was announced. And uh, I can tell you, there's not many times that I'm speechless, but I was absolutely <laughs> stupefied at that moment. <coughs> Are there any questions? I mean, you know, there's been a lot of standing up here talking, but yes, we have to share. Sorry, I have um, uh, quite timid. I have Send us your emails out there too, eh? <laughs> 